Number 5. This is 1991 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS-67 condition with full steps. The 1991 D. Jefferson Nickel is not generally considered a rare coin. However, its value can vary depending on its condition and any specific attributes it may have. An MS-67 grade typically indicates that the coin is in mint state 67 condition, which is a relatively high grade and suggests that the coin is well preserved and has minimal wear. Full steps, FS, is a designation used for Jefferson Nichols, indicating that the coin steps on Monticello on the reverse side are well defined. Coins with full steps designation are more desirable to collectors. PCGS reports just four full step specimens in this lofty grade with none finer. This superb gem is one of them and it was sold for $2,025 with buyer's fee. Number 4. Here is 1963 Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 67 with full steps. According to NGC, 1963 Nickels are superior in overall quality to their Denver Mint cousins, but finding a really desirable specimen will still be challenging. To sustain the record mintages of the early 1960s, it appears that both mints increase the set distance of all dies to extend their useful life. Thus, most coins of these years did not completely fill the dies, exposing unstruck areas of rough planchet on the high points of the design. This elusive gem ended up selling for $5,907.38 with buyer's fee. Number 3. Here is 1983 D. Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 67 with full steps. U.S. Mint produced over 536 million 1983 nickels in Denver branch. Finding those in mint condition is not a problem at all given huge mintage. But full steps examples are scarce in MS-66 and higher. MS-67 FS examples are almost unheard of. PCGS reports just two nickel in that condition, including this masterpiece. It fetched a sum of $7,593.75 with buyer's fee. Number 2. 1949 Jefferson Nickel with repunched mint mark D over S graded in mint state 67 with full steps by PCGS. A beautiful superb gem, iridescent champagne apricot toning blends with billowy mint luster. According to Stax Bowers, impressively full in striking detail, both sides are also expertly preserved and expectably smooth for the assigned grade. It was sold for $18,000. Number 1. This is 1939 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS-68 condition with full steps. The scarcer variety from the second year of Jefferson Nickel production. Faint gold and peach tones dominate the patina, with tinges of powder blue accenting the rims. The luster is uniform and satiny across each side, complementing the overall untouched surfaces. Writing in his Encyclopedia, 1988, Walter Breen postulated that this reverse type comprises possibly 40% of survivors. It currently represents 45% of the 1939 D. Nickel population certified by PCGS which confirms Breen's suspicion with surprising accuracy. This variety is remarkably challenging in grades above MS-66, and exponentially more so when the full step detail is considered. This one was sold for $26,400. Thanks for watching this video. Please, don't forget to hit thumbs up before you watch another video. Stay well and God's will, see you in the next episode.